this is the second part of an experiment that we did on seed germination. So the first part of this experiment, we did a float test uh, for the seeds where we soaked these bean seeds for half an hour. And the ones that sunk, we said were probably viable because they were dense enough to have an embryo inside. And the ones that floated, we said were probably not viable because they weren't dense enough to have an embryo inside. And then I went and secondarily planted out all of those um, seeds. So then we could see what kind of germination percentage we actually got um, regardless of whether something sunk or floated. So these were the sinkers. We had 19 sinkers and 81 floaters in the first experiment. Um, and here it looks like from the sinkers we ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six. We ended up with six sinkers that germinated out of our original 19. Now let's take a look at our floaters. So these were our floaters. Oh, it looks like I need to move the camera a little bit. Because there's those six packs back there too. Um, and of our floaters, which should indicate that we don't have an embryo on the inside, we have one, two, three, four, five, six that germinated. It looks like of those six, maybe one, two, three, four of them um, formed their cotyledons and then arrested development here at the tip. And so those are gonna die off. Now, it could be that the plant stopped germinating. It could also be that we had some slugs in there that decided they were delicious. So to me, it shows that the sink float test is not necessarily a good indicator of seed viability. Uh, maybe in the future what we want to do is let the seeds soak for a little bit longer. Maybe they just didn't have enough time to imbibe water um, and make themselves have the possibility of being as dense. Usually half an hour is a pretty good amount of time, but I could have possibly over dried these seeds and that, that could have played a role too. All right, there you go. Sink versus float uh, and how they germinated.